Hi everyone, it's Enchanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to be picking cards to see what your person is currently thinking and feeling about you. So yeah, today I decided to switch it up a little bit and put out Disney Major Arcana cards from you to, um, for you to pick from. So yeah, here we have the Empress that will be representing Pile 1 with this Citrine. We have the Fool that is associated with this green jasper and we have the strength with the carnelian on top of it i there was no reason for me to like pair the crystals up it was more just random honestly i was just trying to match the colors but yeah um thought it would be nice to incorporate some colors and some familiar disney characters so yeah uh, go ahead and take a second to meditate upon the piles and pick one that you are the most energetically drawn to you can pick based on anything the disney characters the colors if you want um the crystals the angel numbers and the timestamps it is really up to you but yeah go ahead and pick a pile that your intuition is strongly drawing you to and yeah we will see you in your respective reading hi everyone it's enchanted thank you so much for tuning in so in today's video we're going to be picking cards to see what your person is currently thinking and feeling about you also, I do apologize in advance for the audio. I just got a new mic and I'm testing it out. So the audio sucks. I promise I will make it better next time. Um, yeah, the mic that I had before, it was kind of hard to like, get the sound across. Like, it, it sounded a lot better when I like replayed it on you know my recording device. But when it actually got uploaded, it wasn't as loud. So I do apologize in advance. Um, I don't want to bore you with the details, but this is kind of just a trial test run. So bear with me. Promise I'll make it better. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what is going on in this connection. What is going on with your person? What would they tell you if they could? Um, okay, okay. We got the Eight of Wands. So this is really the card. Um, about speed movement communication travel this person is going to communicate with you 100 percent, 100 percent. like i feel like even if we get like really um constructive criticism type cards as i like to call them this is a really good start to your reading i'm also seeing that maybe this is how this connection started off as like it really started off with the bang you were talking to one another a lot you were in constant communication but then maybe things kind of slowed down a little bit or it kind of halted or there's some sort of stagnation or something along the lines of that. Um, I haven't even picked other cards, but I mean, we'll see what they say. But I am seeing that your person wants to communicate with you. They do want to talk to you. If you are already seeing this person, I also feel like they want to come forward um, because they're very passionate about you and there's something that they want to say to you. So either, either way, whether you're seeing this person or not, this person will communicate with you about something. Clearly, if you're already seeing this person, I'm seeing that this communication will be you know, um, slightly more meaningful, whereas if you're no contact, you know, I, I just do feel this person will come towards you and talk to you or do something that shows you that they're thinking about you, okay? Because I am seeing that there's a lot of passion in this connection. There's a lot of, um, th that spark is definitely still there, okay? The one thing that this person hasn't lost for you is that spark if you are not seeing one another, okay? So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pick some more cards. Yeah, we also got the Queen of Cups. Okay, so it's more than just passion. It's more than just like, oh yeah, like I think you're really gorgeous physically. I do feel like this person um, has deeper feelings for you with this Queen of Cups. I always like to say that this is someone who um, may have a lot of admirers. Maybe they dated a few people, quite a few people. It doesn't really matter how many people they dated, but it's like, uh, they've only ever really given their heart to a few people and you are one of those people which is so cute which is so endearing that's what I really like about this card and I'm also seeing that it could be the other way around maybe you could have had crushes on a lot of people dated a lot of people but there's only really a couple of people that you truly gave your heart to that you truly um, opened yourself up to or at least were in the process of doing so opened up your heart chakra to became vulnerable in front of and that is this person okay so that's really beautiful I really like that for you um yeah, I'm getting major water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also getting Leo, Sagittarius energy here. So maybe someone could be that, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, but this is so beautiful because your person really sees the good in you. I always take this card as like seeing, like looking past the surface level and seeing someone for who they truly are on the inside. It's like exploring the depths of you or exploring the depth of this connection. Um, this is a really, really profound, like really deep card. Most of the water sign, like cups cards are that way. But it's just like, you know, they really see something in you that they haven't 
in a while or they haven't with too many other people or maybe not even anyone else at all maybe you could be the only one that they truly ever liked or gave their heart to because I, I am seeing you definitely open up this person's heart chakra okay whatever magical powers you have it's not like you even have to try it's not like you have to put a spell on them or anything it's just who you are as a person really enticed them really captivated them and now they're just in deep that's what i'm hearing they they are in deep um they're in their feels for you they just really admire everything that you are everything that you embody um really really they they, they love your personality they just love uh what you represent so yeah um okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple more cards yeah we also got the nine of pentacles so with this nine of pentacles they think you're very independent i'm seeing that like okay they see that you're very um kind caring generous giving you are someone that invests your time energy effort into people you're someone that likes genuine relationships these surface level relationships don't satisfy you at all okay like you don't really like it when someone you know just sees you a couple times and then just ghosts you and then hits you up like you know a month later that's not something that's satisfying to you in fact that even kind of makes you lose your interest in them even though some people think it makes them like you know like them even more i mean sure that can make someone miss them even more um but i feel like with you it's like you have maybe tolerated that maybe you have put up with that in the past but you're not doing that anymore and you're sort of realizing yeah this isn't it like i deserve better like i'm really seeing that you are finding yourself you are connecting to your higher self and you are not um at this moment like you know your person is really feeling that you're going through some sort of energetic upgrade and you're not going to give the time of day to anyone that isn't matching your level matching your vibration matching everything that you're giving okay because again you are very generous kind giving but you're also very independent and at the end of the day even if it takes some time to get there you do eventually make that decision to um, honor yourself first put yourself first and i'm seeing that this person is really feeling that okay they're feeling that you aren't really giving them the time of the day as much or you're not like as responsive or it could even just be energetically if you haven't been seeing this person um if you haven't like been in contact with this person i'm so sorry about my hair yeah but it's just you are kind of not kind of like you definitely are connecting to your higher self you are really setting boundaries and you're realizing your worth which is really great yeah um yeah this card really speaks to independence individuality and just overall having a lot to give having a lot to um but having a lot to give while also giving that to yourself is what i'm seeing so i'm seeing that for a lot of you you know you definitely could have put other people before you you know you did a lot for other people because that's just the kind of person you are you're like naturally just caring kind giving generous and your person knows that and i'm also seeing they don't want to take advantage of that so if you know at times maybe they kind of treated you like a therapist like you know they really um open up to about their problems because i am seeing you are that kind of person that a lot of people open up to you are someone that people feel comfortable around like safe around like oh i can just say whatever like you know this person won't judge me that is something that this person really likes about you that's a really admirable quality you have here um and this person would like never purposely hurt you but um you know if they did i'm seeing that you know they're realizing okay like this is not how they wanted things to be like this is not um it, this is not something that they should continue to do and i even feel like you know because you're setting your boundaries that's something that they're realizing so it's like if at times like they've kind of let's say been kind of draining to you i'm, I'm saying kind of so much in this reading but if they have been draining to your energy kind of oh my gosh like an energy vampire or i just got a notification wow or they just what do you call it didn't really reciprocate what you did to the level and magnitude that you did i am seeing that this person wants to make amends or like give something back you know this sort of reminds me of um that one oracle card that we have now is the time to give back this does remind me of like virgo energy and that that has to do with the sixth house of giving um acts of service like you know providing like just giving back to people like sometimes it has to do with giving back to the community as well but i'm seeing that your person is realizing that they have to do a lot more to be in your life because you have high standards um, i'm also getting like perfectionist vibes i feel like your person always thought that you were a perfectionist and um they know that okay if you're doing so much for yourself like you know they're even questioning are they good enough like they know that you have high standards for themselves but they don't know if they're matching that at the moment and that could also be a cause a reason for separation or you not have you not completely being together right now 
if you aren't if you are in separation and if you are already seeing this person i'm just seeing that this person is getting thoughts it's like maybe they're spirit guides or they're seeing signs angel numbers that are telling them to be a better version be a better partner just give more in this connection so yeah that is what i'm getting for you so far pal one let's go ahead and pick some more cards to see what else is going on here um okay yeah so we got the ten of wands okay so i feel like your person is stressed out okay they are carrying a lot on their back could be emotional baggage you know just burdens from the past or even external stress right now external burdens you know we did get the nine of pentacles this does tell me this could have something to do with their material life work finances career um they think that you're really abundant they think you really have your life together you are thriving in life you are very independent you are so good at like you know paving your own path to success and abundance so that's really great um yeah and with this ten of wands i'm just seeing that you know there's so much that's going on with them right now that they're not even sure that like you know they can match your level they can match your queen of cups here is what i'm seeing but i'm seeing okay regardless they're gonna they're gonna contact you anyway they're gonna hit you up they're gonna still try to be in your life that's what i'm seeing it's so weird because like this person like i was telling you the whole thing about maybe this person doesn't feel like they are on your level or they don't feel like they're good enough or they don't feel like they have enough to give but at the same time they're still gonna pursue you anyway they're just like you know what i can't stay away from this person their energy is too magnetic too captivating that's why i'm really getting messages that you have been doing a lot of self-work self-love or you've just been spending a lot of time to yourself or even you know manifesting you're doing a lot of self-concept affirmations or something um, along the lines of that and you're attracting a lot of people i even feel like maybe this person could feel like they have competition that could also be something that's stressing them out because with this queen of cups this is someone who actually has a lot of admirers and not not even just like admirers who want her on the surface level but someone who really really wants her you know really likes her or loves her for her mind for her heart who she is deep down this is definitely like a very deep card going past the superficial going past the surface level type card here and yeah with this ten of wands it's just it's really eating them up that like okay are they with someone is there is someone else hitting on them or um, approaching them is someone better than me um because yeah they know you got admirers and this could this applies to those of you that are even with this person i do feel like this person does have doubts that like you could leave them one day okay like i'm, I'm seeing there's a little bit of insecurity that this person kind of has surrounding relationships and it really just could be because of things that they've dealt with in the past maybe they were hurt in the past maybe they have some sort of abandonment issues or wounds maybe someone in their past like left them or ghosted them or something like that and they're sort of materializing those fears are materializing or like they're internalizing those fears and um kind of giving to them is what i'm seeing like they're, they are kind of scared at the moment that they might lose you um yeah a lot of emotions this person is like kind of going through a whirlwind of emotions um from what i'm seeing in this reading um yeah we also got the four of swords so this tells me that this person is or needs to do some self-work they need to kind of just be in meditative contemplative mode really just think about their life on a deeper level really just um what do you call you know, take some time off and find themselves do a soul searching do some introspection with this four of swords um you know as you can see there's like a heart and there's a string attached to it so i am seeing there are strings attached when it comes to this relationship this person and you um definitely do uh ha ha you had and still have this deep connection that's emotional spiritual that's like everything okay like you and them really bonded together in a way that maybe they haven't felt they haven't bonded with anyone in that way for a while and maybe you too as well and it's just you know they would rather take their time and improve themselves and work on themselves or even just take them take some time off to recalibrate and gather their thoughts before coming forward and you know being a burden on you like they would rather like make sure that they're secure and stable on the inside before coming forward is what i'm really seeing with this and um yeah they care a lot about you they care a lot about this relationship and they're even in the state of mind where they're just like okay if i lose this like i'm gonna lose everything okay like if you know they would rather have this period of separation heal and then come back when they're stronger and better rather than pursue things mess things up and then lose you forever that's a really big message that i'm getting here and yeah, with this eight of wands, you know, we did get that they really want to communicate, they really want to reach out. And I feel like for a lot of you, they will definitely reach out. But for a lot of you, I'm also getting that like, 
even though this was this was a very fast moving card i mean with the queen of cups pentacles and now this card now like i'm really getting spiritual downloads that okay this person is going to um take their sweet old time and heal themselves and when i say sweet old time it's not like they want to delay things it's not like they want that it's just they know that there's something that they need to fix inside before coming forward because they do not want to risk losing you forever. In fact, I'm even seeing this person is finally starting to be more practical, finally starting to like, you know, think deeper into things, like look deeper into like, like literally, as I said, deep, you know, I remember this Queen of Cups here and think logically and rationally, like, okay, if I if I go forward with this, what if I end up like, you know, never speaking to this person again? Um, whereas I could just take my time, heal, hopefully this person will take me back because they are hoping that you will take them back whether or not you want to is up to you but i am seeing that this person is holding out hope and faith for a future with you um like yeah this four of swords don't mistake this as you know eternal silence like they're gonna be back they've always been back is what i'm seeing for a lot of you so yeah that is what i'm getting here and for those of you guys that are already seeing someone i feel like with this four of swords this could just indicate that at times they need time to themselves they really do care about their independence and freedom even you know with this they also do care about their individuality and if you're wanting them to take that next step or next phase they're also doing thinking okay i feel like that whole thing that i said about thinking and healing and um really waiting things out before coming forward also applies to um a situation where they're waiting to take that next step if that makes sense so yeah uh Okay, I don't know I overcomplicate that. I feel like that was a lot easier to explain, but um, okay, then maybe I explained it. But we did get the Ace of Wands. This tells me this person is very passionate about you, very passionate about this connection. They want a new beginning, okay? They definitely want reconciliation. Uh, they, they, they're they always going to carry that flame and spark for you. That's something that I always get with this card. They also think that you're really creative. You're really talented. There's just something so unique and even artistic about you. Maybe a lot of you could be into art um, in some way, like, or very, just very spiritual it's like you're very smart and i feel like for a lot of you you know you could even be in like a more like stem type major you don't have to be you know take what resonates um leave what doesn't but i am seeing it's like you could either be in liberal arts or stem or like maybe both maybe you can do both like you know you're good at math or i mean like is that anyone really but you know maybe you could be in like finance or studying to be a doctor or nursing but then you also have this like artsy side to you or I'm, I'm just hearing things about you can do both like you know how to have a deep conversation you also know how to sound like you know book smart but you're also like common sense smart and you're also like people smart as well you know at the same time because sometimes it's like this this is just a stereotype it doesn't have to be true but it's like sometimes in tech like you know um th there is the stereotype that okay they may be really smart they know how to do math but they don't really know how to hold a proper conversation or like a deep conversation or something like that which by the way is not true it really just does depend on the person I, mean, I work in tech i feel like i'm kind of deep as deep as i can be but you know just a little bit of a tangent i really admire the tarot readers here on youtube like there's so many that are just so profound and even i kind of state things in a more technical manner and you know these other readers are just also very or not also but like they kind of the way that they say things the way that they can read their cards is, is just so impressive and you know sometimes i like look up not like look up their backgrounds but like they sometimes they tell me like oh yeah i was a psychology major or liberal arts major i i just feel like you know those people have very good ways they have a really profound way of communicating and interpreting certain things so just a shout out to them but um the point of that is that this person also feels that way about you they feel like they can really open up to you and they can really come to you with anything that's on their mind which is why i said that this person at times you know definitely could have seen you as like a therapist or like a shrink and like you know they opened up their problems they're they opened up to you about their problems as well so yeah with this ace of wands though oh my gosh yeah so much passion so much fire that spark is there like we started the reading off with eight of wands and we ended it with ace of wands so that tells me there is definitely communication coming about and there is a new start as well so yeah um okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the uh romance oracle deck that i have here it's been a while since i've used these unfortunately these cards like stuck to each other and like started like ripping and tearing off clearly you should buy good quality tarot cards not just knockoffs i didn't even know this was a knockoff but um i mean well we'll it's not that hard to decipher the messages you can still see what's on them but it's been a while since i've used this deck so i do really want to revive the energy of this deck with you pal one so yeah okay the first card we have here is getting to know each other i like this as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens oh my gosh yeah talk about a deep bond okay this person really feels like 
you know, they have gone to know a good amount about you, but they want to know more. Okay, there's this person cannot get enough. This person feels like you are so intriguing, so amazing, so entertaining, even. You know, I feel like this person and you can always talk and you, you can never they'll never get bored. You always have something to say. Maybe you can even be a little bit snarky at times or um I don't know why, but like with all this like uh wands cards here, I feel like you could definitely be someone that like, you know, teases them back and like, you know, like not like fights back, but like wands or fire signs sort of have that like charismatic way of talking and sometimes they can like you know just make like really the the word that is coming to me right now is snarky but like in a fun teasing kind of way like basically this person will never get bored emotionally or otherwise so that's a really positive thing and it's like i feel like this person wants to get to know you even deeper okay i'm even seeing that maybe this person feels like things were too short-lived and there's so much more that they want to experience with you um, oh my gosh, yeah, so we also got let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, yeah, so I'm seeing that, you know, if you're manifesting this person, that's totally fine, that in no way, shape, or form is really controlling them, because with manifestation, creation is already done, it's just that you're stepping into the desired reality, you're stepping into that version that, you know, you want to step in, it's not like you're forcing anything, really, it, you're not messing with their free will, there's a whole thing about that, yeah, you should definitely look up like Sammy's mermaid gang, Sammy Ingram. She talks about that. You're not controlling anyone's free will. I'm just seeing that like in the 3D, there's no need to really set ultimatums or there's no need to like force this person to do anything because they're going to come anyway. So it's like spirit is saying like, don't worry too much. And even this control thing, I even feel like more than you controlling them or them controlling you, it has more to do with controlling your thoughts. Okay. Like don't let your thoughts control you or like sometimes we just want to like, we just want everything to happen our way. And when it doesn't, it's just like, uh, you know, you get really exhausted. You're just like, oh, like, why aren't things happening? Maybe you manifested and things went the other way. I mean, this is really saying just like, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Okay. Like let go of control issues basically means like, I, I wouldn't even, I know it says let go of control issues, but I more see this as like, don't let your thoughts control you or like, um, just know that things are meant to be like you don't need to control anything because this person is meant to at least contact you at least come back and have that conversation and who knows things can even ex escalate from there on I'm definitely seeing a lot of new beginning type cards reconciliation type cards passionate um, cards that really speak to how passionate this person is about you so yeah uh, we also got love yourself first yeah your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive yeah so keep practicing those self-concepts, self-love affirmations. You know, in the beginning, I said that you may already be doing that. And like, whatever it is that you're doing. Wow, I just, I got another notification. Whatever it is that you are doing, your person has been impressed by that. Like, and you are glowing up energetically. And that is something that is attracting this person to you. So this is more of a sign um, from the universe saying, keep doing that. Keep working on your self-concept. Really, the, the secret to manifestation. And it, this took me a while to learn, okay? I was always against those, like, not against, but every time I would see, like, self-love or blah, blah, Like, I knew self-love was important, but, like, it would just kind of annoy me when people say, like, oh, you can't have this person. This person isn't even, like, you know, um, they're not good enough for you or it's a no for me. Um, just love yourself. Like, no, you can have whoever you want. You can literally change people. People have changed people from, like, F-boys to, like, husband or wife material, Okay. Um, without even doing anything, without forcing them, without doing anything in the physical, you know, like in the 3D, it's literally just about changing your thoughts about them and changing your thoughts about yourself. I'm telling you the easiest way to manifest is literally just to do self-concept. And it's like your subconscious knows what you want. So it's like it will literally bring that thing to you. Like For example, if you say like everyone loves me, everyone cares about me, everyone is into me, everyone always asks me out, you know, those that's self-concept. Doing If you do that, like your specific person will literally gravitate towards you because your brain knows who you want okay you don't if you want you can definitely say their name like oh sp loves me sp cares about me you, you definitely can do that in fact i would recommend doing like 90 80 to 90 percent self-concept self-love affirmations and 10 to 20 percent sp like specific person affirmations but anyways i talk a lot about the law of assumption law of attraction i'm more of a law of assumption gal but it's like this person does care about you they do like you they do think about you a lot and just you loving yourself is what's going to like heal this connection. It's it's also going to like, you know, motivate them to love themselves more. And honestly, self-love is what will save the world, but you're on the right track. You're on the right path. This person really does want to be with you or at least talk to communicate with you, like I said, and then see where things go on from there. So yeah, 
Okay, that is what we got for you, pal one. I really hope this reading helped. I hope that it resonated. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. If this pile didn't resonate, you can of course go ahead and pick another pile. I also do want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings. So if you are interested in getting personal questions answered, be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one. And yeah, I will end the reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light. Hi pile two, welcome to your reading. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what your person is currently thinking and feeling about you. What would they tell you if they could? What's going on in their mind? Things of that sort. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards real quick. Also, just a disclaimer, I said this in pile one too. I'm going to say it in all the piles. I recently just got a new mic. I'm still kind of figuring it out. So consider this like as a test run. I promise my audio will just keep getting better with every reading. My old mic wasn't really working as well. So I decided to get a new one. Um, hopefully this um, is somewhat of an improvement. Maybe if not in this video, then the next video. But yeah, bear with me. Okay, I'm still figuring out the sound here. So okay. Uh, now to actually shuffle the cards and see what is going on here wow we got the four of swords interesting we got this in pile one two um but kind of like more the middle of the reading but anyways this is pile two not pile one but with this four of swords i'm seeing that there could be some sort of separation or some sort of stagnancy or maybe things have kind of like calmed down a bit or not stopped but like slowed down a little bit is what i'm seeing but this is a positive card because this four of swords is all about gaining wisdom it's all about being in contemplative mode it's all about really thinking about what is going to happen in this connection thinking about what um the future holds for this connection this is also about like you know self-love and self introspection really digging in deep um to see what is it that truly satisfies you Okay, and I'm seeing this is something that your person is doing. They're doing some soul searching. They're, do, do, they're doing some introspection. I even feel like maybe this um, connection has inspired them to do that. Maybe you inspired them to do that because I feel like this person thinks that you are very far in your spiritual journey or you're very mature, at least more mature than maybe some of the other people that they've been with or the people that they're even around right now. And I feel like your maturity or just something positive about you has really rubbed off on them to the point where they really want to work on themselves. Yeah, and with this Four of Swords, I'm also seeing that, you know, there's this heart here with a string attached. So it's like, even if this person and you go, do go into separation or there's some sort of stagnancy or no communication or little contact, this person always thinks about you. This person literally always has you in their heart. Um, I'm even seeing this person could dream about you while sleeping, okay? But there definitely are strings attached. Like this person does care about you a lot. And don't mistake their silence for them. Just not, you know, being into you or their disinterest in you, in you or lack of interest. That is not the case at all, okay? Like, this person really does value you. They really do care about you. In fact, I'm even seeing, like I said, you know, you're their motivation or partially their motivation to do better, to do more. I'm seeing that, you know, this person... If they have taken you for granted, like let's say they hit you up and you responded, but then they just never hit you up after, or they've been a little bit in and out, or they've kind of been draining to your energy, or they haven't really been giving you the type of relationship or energy, effort, love confess confessions that you want. I'm seeing that, you know, this person will make up for that. This person will um, give back eventually. They're realizing like that's not okay. Like I, why am I giving so little when, you know, this person's doing so much for me? Um, and I, I, I feel like they already know the answer deep down. It's because, you know, it was a subconscious self-defense mechanism. Maybe they thought, oh, if I don't give that much, then at least I won't get my heart broken. You know, let's just play this casual. Let's just play this easy. Let me just have fun, blah, blah, blah. Like, But then they're just like, no, that's not okay. That's not even, this isn't even something that's fulfilling me. Like, this is what they're saying. Like, oh, I tried so hard. <laughs> I tried so hard to not get hurt, to not, um, be vulnerable to not go through this big heartbreak that I myself lost fulfillment or I myself engaged in actions that were not fulfilling in any way shape or form okay they're realizing that like that is not the way to go about doing things go all in or do nothing at all like my my language but half-assing things is not going to get you anywhere or like that's what this person is thinking like it's not going to get them anywhere and it's like they're realizing at times they can self-sabotage like in fact because they fought so hard to not get hurt to not open themselves up in fear of getting their heart broken they themselves 
kind of realize that like wow this is this must be so unfulfilling to you this isn't fair to you and you know that in turn to them was also unfulfilling like they don't think there's any point in doing this if you're not happy if you're not satisfied um and that's good because that tells me that they really care about you they really care about how you feel in this connection and they really care that you're getting the same you know benefits out of this connection that they are that you know they're giving you the same amount of time energy effort that you're giving to them as well so yeah okay there's a lot of self-realization self-actualization going on here so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick some more cards to see what else is going on here. Um, okay, we got the two of swords. Yeah, so interesting. It's like they're still sleeping, okay? There's still something that they don't see about this connection or they're, they're in the process of like seeking the truth. They haven't like really seen it yet. Um, they know that they have, they are very attracted towards you, but it's just like, you know, there is something deeper that their higher selves know. Okay, there's a reason why you met this person, but it's just like they're, they're self self. They're you know, the surface level self hasn't really like really come to terms with that yet. It's like they're blindfolded to the truth of this connection or like, you know, there's some strings from the past still holding them back. We got a lot of like string imagery in general. So I definitely feel like, you know, one of the strings definitely represents that, you know, they are attached to you. They are very emotionally attracted to you. But that other string could represent since it is being pulled by these ravens or crows. I'm not sure what it is. This sort of represents them being stuck in their dark past or seeing not not seeing things clearly or only thinking about the negatives yeah um they have a decision to make I, I this two of swords also has to do with like making a decision about something i'm seeing that you know it could just have to do with where they want things to go like what is it that's happening even more than an actual decision it's just like they're kind of blinded they don't know what the future really holds they haven't really thought too much about the future yet or they're kind of scared to think about the future because it intimidates them so they're just like blissfully you know staying unaware or they think it's blissful but it's not really because you just wish they would get serious about their future or do something that would like you know escalate this connection maybe i'm even seeing for some of you guys this there could be like a physical separation and you and this person even know that you like each other but it's just like they're not doing anything and maybe you're not doing anything maybe this too represents the both of your inaction so yeah i mean we'll pick more cards to see what's happening here but it's just like there's a lot of clarity to be gained you know this person needs to like really seek the truth in order to be able to speak it so yeah um oh okay you're gonna like the progression that we have here in this reading okay we got the magician and we got the queen of wands so this is really positive the magician is all about manifesting all about making things happen energetically that's what i was gonna say actually like if you feel like you know this person isn't doing much and you know you can't really do much in the physical 3d you can definitely manifest you can definitely change things energetically you can really make things happen by literally just um practicing self-love self-concept doing introspection doing a deep dive on you like you can literally change the circumstances because circumstances circumstances do not even matter okay in fact i'm even seeing that this person has been manifesting you okay they really want to be with you they feel like this connection has everything that it takes to withstand the test of time um i always say that in the magician maybe not in this specific deck but in other decks it has all the suits the pentacles wands cups and swords which tells me that yes this connection has everything it needs to really prosper to really move forward to really just um be a full strong healthy wholesome connection okay it, it's definitely there the potential is there and it's like now they're finally opening up their eyes to it i was almost gonna say like okay what are they not seeing what are they not like you know opening themselves up to and it's literally just the magic of this connection but i feel like they eventually will okay they eventually will um because with this four of swords you know this does have to do with like introspection and going in deep and then realizing but it's like i'm seeing it's like they take maybe four steps forward but then two steps backward but that still means they're taking two steps back or forward right so it's like there is progress that's definitely happening here um in this connection this also has an infinity symbol on uh the top here on the hoodie thing here so i'm seeing that like you and this person are connected you are meant to be in one another's life lives for a very long time or you definitely could have been in each other's lives in the past and um yeah there's there's a lot of good things happening in this connection okay spirit really wants this connection to happen spirit really is rooting for this connection to happen um yeah there's like literally a well here it's like they're pouring their magic into that well and well um at, at least in tarot from you know some of the i guess definitions and explanations that i've seen represents like doing a deep dive being introspective um 
figuring out like the root cause of things like if your relationships haven't worked out why it could be because maybe you've been around people for whom it hasn't worked out or maybe you were taught that like oh yeah don't marry for love just marry for stability or you know it really goes back to like what you were taught in your childhood and maybe even your first breakup and things like that like there's so much like a psychology behind this that I feel like spirit is encouraging you and your person to do and I feel like your person is doing that as well I do feel like they're realizing I feel like you know they are smart okay like th- you could be dealing with someone who is pretty intellectual who is very smart or even if they're not like they there is depth to them. They do have depth. Even if at times they came off to be pretty immature, I guarantee you they are a lot more mature than that. Or, you know, it's just maybe they just weren't acting like their higher selves just because they were blinded, just because maybe they were going through like a weird phase or a weird time or something like that. But it's like they, I promise you, like the version of them that is good, is perfect for you, the version of them that you deserve, that's smart, that sees things for the way they are, it definitely just exists. Maybe it's a matter of you manifesting that version to really come through. So yeah, but I am seeing your person wants this to happen. This is also associated with Mercury. It's associated with Virgo and Gemini. Uh, we got a lot of air sign energy too. So if you're curious, uh, we're getting Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. This, is, uh, this also has Virgo associated with it. And this is really telling me that... Um, they want to communicate with you. There, there's something that they really want to get off their chest. There's something that they really want to tell you, especially if you've been in a long period of separation, especially if you've, if you, if you've been in no contact. And for those of you guys that are seeing someone, it's like maybe they're thinking about what they want to say and they haven't completely decided just yet, but they eventually will have the perfect words to say to you. It's so funny because I literally just, okay, I've been watching New Girl, rewatching it, and it's like I'm at the part spoiler alert if you don't want to hear this maybe skip past the next 30 seconds but like cc and schmidt basically end up getting married and like schmidt loses his vows and he doesn't know what to say but then his friend nick is just like his best man is just like well just say whatever comes from the heart right like then he writes it down he writes his vows down on like a toilet paper and like yeah that, that's just what i'm seeing here and I, I do feel like you know this person and you um even if they were initially blind and maybe or not necessarily blinded but like they didn't know what to say and they were kind of just in this like maybe you were in the state of limbo or stagnancy in this connection they soon are going to think of the right things to say and finally communicate that with you I feel like they already have been thinking about it it's just a matter of communicating that so yeah okay uh we also got the queen of wands here so yeah this tells me that your person thinks you're really passionate you're really outgoing you are very inspirational you're very motivational you're just someone who really brightens up their day. You are someone, honestly, you're like that with a lot of people. Okay, you could you could definitely be a social butterfly. And they just love like how talkative you are, how smart you are, how um, vigorous you are. You're full of energy. You really energize them. Like you really motivate them. I'm even seeing the highlight of their day or highlight of their week is literally just talking to you. Okay, there's just something so enticing. Um, and captivating about your energy that they love being with you and they love being around you and there's they are definitely passionate okay they also think you're a very very attractive person they they definitely fantasize about the freaky times if you know what i mean so yeah that is another message we have from this queen of wands here okay uh let's go and pick one more card and then we got the seven of pentacles what a good way to end the tarot section i'm gonna go ahead and pick more cards of course but the seven of pentacles is all about wanting to put in the work wanting to build with you wanting to grow with you um also this is a card of manifestations coming true if you have been manifesting something with this person or this connection or this person in general this is a sign that it will come true this is all about reaping the benefits of your hard work reaping the benefits of your labor but i'm also seeing you know that this means that your person wants to put in the time energy effort in this connection okay they do want to build with you grow with you because they do feel like you are someone who's very mature okay with this queen of wands i'm really seeing that they could see you embodying this um you know queen card here you have a lot going on for you you're very abundant and it's like they would like to get in on that like they want to be part of that they want to be part of your life and it's like you know they're just really hoping this connection happens it's like they're watching this plant grow they're watching this plant like root up and stuff like that um or (laughs) they're watching the roots finally grow out and yeah this is definitely about like manifestations coming true like i said because when you manifest something you're planting a seed essentially it's like that seed keeps growing the more you feel it the more um you water that thought so that's exactly what's going on i'm even seeing that you know this is a card of persistence and faith and your person's really hoping that you have faith that this will work out that you know you don't give up on them because they're not ready to give up on you okay this person is pretty stubborn about making this work they really 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 do want this to work so 
yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the romance angels deck to see what other messages we have here um from your person regarding this connection yeah so okay let's go and shuffle the cards here okay okay we got honeymoon and this is really positive so um yeah I, this literally says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together i feel like you know this person really misses the honeymoon period that you have if you have been together for a while or maybe if you've been in separation they're really thinking back to how you met or i'm even seeing that like this person thinks that every day with you is a honeymoon like they're really joyous they're really grateful to be with you or at least have met someone like you they thought like if you are in separation they thought like forget just the beginning they thought like being with you the entire time was like really good even if you fought even if there were some disagreements and things like that i'm seeing that they definitely are thinking more about the positives of this connection rather than the negatives and i also see a boat here so this gives me six of swords vibes if you and this person are in some sort of physical distance maybe they live in another city state town even country they do want to travel to you they want to travel towards you they think that you are very um you're, you're worth it you're worth like you know being with being around taking a risk for even okay so i would not be surprised if they were to travel to you or maybe you were to take a trip together somewhere but i'm seeing that they definitely want to bridge the gap bridge the distance bridge the communication gap so yeah um we also got love yourself first interesting we got this in pal one too yeah so a big part of manifesting is literally just to practice self-love self-concept affirmations because that's what ignites the manifest or that's what expedites the manifestation okay the more the universe sees like okay you're good you're whole within yourself the more likely this is to happen and it's just like when you do this your person's gonna notice you spiritually um upgrading they're gonna notice that energetic upgrade and they're gonna be even more captivated by you they're um going to come towards you from you know because of everything all the self-work all the self-love everything that you're doing for yourself so um yeah never give up on self-love never give up on manifesting and having faith and again the biggest part of manifesting is knowing that you are worthy of all your desires knowing that you're worthy of the best version of people that you meet so yeah the more you do that the more this person will come towards you you also got calling in your soulmate yeah your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together yeah so this we literally got two manifestation cards here. This is literally the manifestation pile, pile two. We got the seven of pentacles and the magician. And now this card, which is saying that just have faith, just have patience, just visualize, affirm for this to happen because it's like your person definitely wants this to happen. And it's like, you know, they're doing that too. I feel like they're definitely visualizing being with you. So if you have been getting thoughts about them, dreams about them even, it's like maybe they're planting the seed in your mind for you to be together with them. When you manifest someone, um, it's like they get thoughts about you while you're doing that. And so they don't even know why, but it's like, it's not like you're messing with their free will. It's something that they're doing on their own. Okay. It's like not like you're forcing the 3D or anything. It's literally just something that's happening. So yeah, and that is what's happening. I do feel like this person has been dreaming about you and maybe even vice versa. I would not be surprised if you were to see a dream about this person pretty soon, but they want this to happen. They're visualizing, even fantasizing about you, even thinking back to all the good times that you had together, especially with this honeymoon period, okay? Like they do reminisce and fantasize about this connection a lot. Even if you are already seeing this person, I'm seeing that like they're, they could be fantasizing about a future with you or traveling somewhere with you. This also reminds me of exploring and going the distance. So they do want to explore this connection, see where it goes, see if it goes the distance. So yeah. Okay, that is what we got for you, pal, too. I really hope this reading helped. I hope that it resonated. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. If this pal didn't resonate, you can, of course, go ahead and pick another pile. I also do want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings. So if you are interested in getting personal questions answered, be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one. And yeah, I will end the reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light. Hi pile three, welcome to your reading. So we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what is going on in this connection. What would your person tell you if they could? Just what are they thinking and feeling? So yeah, just a disclaimer, I bought a new mic, so I do apologize if the audio sounds kind of off. I'm still trying to figure out the logistics, so bear with me until I get that figured out. But yeah, anyways, with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the Light Sears tarot deck to see what is going on in this connection, to see what your person would tell you what do they want you to know i'm just repeating myself at this point but yeah okay first card that we got here is the nine of swords so with the nine of swords this person has anxiety they could be having sleepless nights there's something that's really been bugging them there's something that's kind of been eating away at their soul that's kind of deep i was gonna say that but it's it's pretty deep that's pretty dark but um i am seeing that this person does go through a lot there is external stress and pressure that they face which is kind of 
causing them to have doubts, you know, bring down their self-esteem, kind of just, it's not been easy for them, is what I'm seeing, okay? They are anxious at the moment. They even might feel like a failure, like, look at the way that she's just looking down. They feel like maybe they didn't do enough, or they feel like maybe they're not good enough, maybe, you know, they're not good enough for you, and that's something that kind of scares them. Um, but I'm also seeing that, yeah, there is definitely external stuff that has been affecting them that's been, you know, kind of just um, mentally impacting them and lowering their confidence, okay? I want to get some clarification on what these things could be, so I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from another deck just to see what this Nine of Swords is. Why are they going through this? Is it because of this connection or something else? Um because of something they did or family work um okay there we go okay we got the magician that's very interesting okay so um it doesn't tell me a whole lot of what it is but i am just another message that we have here is that they definitely could be manifesting okay they want things to get better they want things to just um work out in the end okay so maybe it's just i'm even seeing maybe it's their they have very high standards and they feel like maybe whatever they have to give to you it's not going to match your standards or maybe they feel like you had this really um embellished view of them but like who they are doesn't really match who you know you, you thought they were or the really positive view that you have of them it's like there's a lot of pressure okay they want to be perfect for you like with this magician card it's just like they want to be everything that you desire and again not just in fantasy world but in real life as well and, you know, they're kind of scared of maybe not living up to your expectations. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards to see what else is bothering them. Interesting. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Wow, these cards are, like, looking up for you, Pile 3. Okay, so with this Queen of Pentacles, they think really highly of you. Okay, maybe they see you as this queen and they sort of see them themselves as a knight. Okay, the knight isn't exactly at the queen or king's level just yet, but it's like they are getting there. At least it's higher up than a page. But with this queen of pentacles, they think you're very smart. They think you're very abundant. You're hardworking. You're also someone that deserves like, you know, a traditional relationship with labels. If you are someone that likes that, you just want to be in like a normal relationship, you know, um, and you just want to be with someone who's a good partner and you don't really feel like you're asking for too much. And, you know, they know that. They know that. It's just like, Maybe they're putting this unneeded stress and pressure on themselves. Maybe, you know, they're just scared that, again, they won't live up to you. They won't live up to maybe your standards or your expectations. And this isn't something that you nest, you made them feel bad about. It's not your fault. It's not their fault. If they feel intimidated, it's because they care about you so much that they're thinking this way, which is all, it's almost endearing. That's, like, actually a huge compliment, and that's pretty flattering. But, yeah, with this Queen of Pentacles, this really represents someone who's abundant, someone who is... Um, stable, someone who keeps their word, someone who's very reliant, practical, steady, like your person knows that they can depend on you, okay? You are just that kind of person that is there for people, especially the people that you care about, especially the people that you love, like you will respond fast, you will be there for them. Um, you definitely have been there for this person a lot and, um, you know, they really like that, they really appreciate that and that's why they're not ready to let you go, which is why I'm not surprised that they have been manifesting you. They're just like, okay, this is someone worth keeping, like this is little wifey or husband material, this is someone who I need in my life in the long run and with whom I can have a steady, stable, long-term, long-lasting connection with. Um, yeah, and with this Knight of Cups, I am seeing that they are going to come forward with an offer, okay? This does have to do with making a love offer. They do care about you. They do have, like, you know, um, real emotions for you. They are very attracted to you emotionally, mentally, um, just who you are. Like, they love who you are as a person, okay? They also feel like you're really wholesome and, like, you're really just... Um, you definitely meet all their standards and then some, okay? Like, you are their dream girl or guy and then some. Like You even have additional qualities that they never thought of, you know, even having a partner. Um, and that's that's a really great thing. That's a really big thing. They just care about you so much. They feel like you are someone that they should not let go. Like, if they were to let you go, that would feel like a huge loss in their life is what I'm seeing that they're thinking, okay? Like, you do not even understand the emotions that goes through this person's mind when they think about you. If they were to go through like some sort of brain scan, you would see all those positive brain chemicals being released, endorphins, serotonin, um, all, all the love chemicals, oxytocin. Yeah, they think so highly of you and, you know, they really want this knight to turn into like a queen or king so that they can match your energy, this queen or king energy 
well this says queen but you know you could be a queen or a king whatever you resonate with yeah but with this nine of cups i do see them eventually coming forward and making an offer when they get out of this anxiety state um i'm even seeing that like you know we were trying to pick cards to see like why they were anxious maybe it's because it has something to do with their career life maybe that is something that they have to work on they do have to work on being stable being a little bit more um just responsible because they feel like you're really mature they're you're really responsible and you know they have to be that way too and maybe they're just not at that level yet and they feel a little bit intimidated again that is not your fault but it's like they don't want to feel like weak in front of you or if here we in front of you or like they're a loser or they don't have enough going on for them because that would you know just totally make them feel defeated um oh my gosh i got a notification during this reading so exciting from his uh sagittarius and i also got one from the libra earlier on maybe you could be dealing with those um signs we will go over the signs later but i always say it has more to do with the cards meanings than the signs but yeah i love this knight of cups i can't stop holding him it's like they're holding on to you they're holding on to this connection they really want to come forward and make you an offer when they feel like they're ready um this magician also has to do with mercury which is the planet of communication so they do want to communicate to you how they feel okay they want to communicate to you their true feelings and just how highly they think of you and how great they think that you are so yeah um okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some more cards we're gonna go back to the light seers tarot deck to see what else is going on i love picking clarifying cards i it just it tells so much more about the connection i'm gonna start doing that more um okay 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 these four cards just popped out like they just like flip themselves over so that is a message that spirit wants us to know we got the fool card which tells me that this person really wants a new beginning with you they really do want a fresh start with you um this is all about like reconciliation if you are in separation or no contact and um they they just think you have this like amazing light-hearted energy too they feel like you can do both okay you are someone that's pretty serious about their life you are someone that's really um established accomplished you have so much going on for you but you also like to let loose you also like to have fun you know you have this just light-hearted energy that so many people love being around and yeah especially this person they're just like wow you know they can really be themselves with you maybe something about their inner child really comes out with you um yeah it's like they, they just feel safe being around you or maybe your inner child feels safe with them or like you both can just be yourselves without any sort of judgment so that tells me that this connection is pure okay they definitely are coming from a pure place and maybe this person kind of showed you how to be a little bit carefree maybe they kind of eased up your spirits a little bit because again i feel like maybe they have a slightly more immature vibe than you that you are basically almost on the same level but you're like maybe it's the slightly more responsible one and they kind of like maybe you both have this light-hearted energy but maybe in a different way like you know once uh maybe they're the ones that kind of encouraged you to like you know not think so hard or overthink and you know you really like learned a lot from them in that sense and you became this uh just you were already amazing to be with but it's just like i'm seeing the both of you really taught one another a lot about life and more importantly like you, you can just be your full unequivocal selves around each other does that make sense unequivocal i don't even know but i i really like this it's just this is all about like a passionate new beginning this is associated with aries um which is you know the first sign of the zodiac and that's also associated with the first house which has to do with the ascendant so it's like you know um they just think that they, they had a very positive view of you okay their first impression of you was really positive and, you know what they think of you now is also positive and um they there's just like so much they're coming from a very pure place okay they're coming from love they're coming from like wanting the best for you like you know kids like they don't have any sort of like negative feelings towards anyone like okay they can be a little bit petty at times cry blah 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 like get into fights but it's just like they haven't like you know gone through adulthood and any sort of like real betrayal and they, they just they think whatever they do whatever it's so carefree light-hearted fun kind of like yeah th that's the vibe that i'm getting here that's what they feel with you and that's a really big deal for them that's like actually you know th that's like literally their dream relationship they want to be with someone who makes them feel that way like they can just be themselves be carefree you know not think too much not think too hard but i'm also seeing like on the other hand you definitely could have inspired them to get their life together a little bit more um maybe even just like yeah like you really motivated them like when they think about what they want to do with their life they think about you they think about where you are and they almost like want to follow in your footsteps and that's why i'm seeing you know they're trying to turn that knight into a queen they want to be like on your level so yeah okay we also got the knight of wands very interesting so this person is very passionate about you they do care a lot okay i don't know why i said they do care a lot that's 
that's more the king uh, knight of cups but we got two knights here so this tells me they do care about you but they're also very passionate and like you know they can separate the two like they're you know they can be really passionate but like they also want to take you out to dinner and like you know win you over like knight in shining armor you know be all romantic like they want both like why not both <laughs> you know they want the best of both worlds so it's like you know they they love getting freaky with you intimate but they also like who you are as a person and um they really want to dig deeper into the emotions and um discover you know really explore this relationship in that sense yeah even the school really speaks of exploration and seeing what this connection holds for you so yeah um that's what we got here with the knight of wands as well there's this just like playful energy um that really does have to do with like i just want to get to know you better i feel like you know this is definitely something that i'm having a lot of fun in and you know could potentially start to form like deeper feelings and and which i feel like they already know that they do have they, they already have that for you okay they already know that but uh there's just this connection has everything like there's never a dull moment with you is what i'm seeing so you never have to worry about like not being enough for this person or the spark not being there it's just your personality is the spark so yeah um okay so we also got the four of pentacles and the two of swords interesting so yeah with this four of pentacles they are holding on really tight i feel like someone has been holding on to this connection someone has been un unwilling to let go and since we got such even number cards here like the four of pentacles and two of swords i'm really seeing that it's on both sides okay the both of you really want one another equally the both of you are very and the both of you are, are obsessed with one another that's how this connect that's how any connection should be so that's really great too but i'm also seeing that you know at times this person could have been blinded to the depth of this connection to the truth of this connection which is why you know this knight of cups it's not exactly a king just yet and we didn't get like too many water sign cards um they know that there is something definitely special about this connection but at times it's like you know they could have been blinded maybe they didn't know the right thing to say right thing to do and it's just something you know they have to seek the truth which is like you know just getting to know themselves better like if maybe you wish that this person was a little bit more vocal a little bit more expressive uh it's like this person also knows that but it's like maybe they're not like really reciprocating that energy in the way that you wanted to like i'm it, it sort of reminds me like you know how sometimes you get into a fight and then things are fine temporarily but then they go back to that so it's just like there's something that you kind of want from this person that you know is missing in this connection and maybe your person knows that you want it but they haven't quite figured that out yet or they haven't like fully figured that out like they don't completely get it just yet like that's what i'm seeing so it's like this person needs to do a little bit more is what i'm getting from spirit like maybe be a little bit more vocal be a little bit more um just like do more contact you more increase communication and not just you know leave you on limbo or not just uh have things be stagnant like kind of just take more action here um yeah or like be more vocal be more expressive is really what i'm seeing here i'm sorry if that was a little bit confusing but yeah this two of swords kind of just does have to do with like inability to communicate maybe their throat chakra could be a little bit blocked so it's like i'm really seeing that they do feel pretty deep for you but it's just like you know what they come off as you know could just be a little bit more like you know flirtatious or like uh you know you have a lot of fun and you're able to joke around and be your like silly selves and stuff like that but you're still waiting on that like one confession of love you're still waiting on that expression of deeper emotions so yeah but it's like they are really into they are really into this maybe they even have like an earth moon or earth venus doesn't have to be the case but you know this is the pentacles card and that tells me that they're not going to give up on you they definitely are not ready to give up on this connection they feel like this is something really worth holding on to really worth keeping okay, you are a keeper for sure so yeah uh, it's just you know they kind of have to figure out a way of coming forward and doing so and i'm even seeing that this two of swords could have to do with this nine of swords here maybe their inability to speak up or be more vocal or expressive is because of like you know anxiety maybe they're scared to reach out maybe they're scared that you're not going to be receptive to what they have to say or yeah you won't be as open to you know what they have to offer you even because trust me they do want to offer you a lot okay they do want to come forward they do want to communicate with this magician card they do want to offer you something with this knight of cups yeah they think you're amazing and they're just like yeah. I, I keep hearing the words keeper like you're a keeper they don't want to let you go they really want a new beginning because you know this is so passionate this is so fun um and yeah really worth holding on to so yeah they just can't quit you i literally channeled that ariana grande song i can't quit you it's called quit um there's also like a mashup with sia if you want to check that out but yeah just it's they, they want this they really want this uh okay so i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the love oracle deck to see what other messages we have here regarding this connection what would your person tell you what do they have to say to you 
Um, okay, so, okay, this is great. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I am so sorry about these cards. I'm definitely going to order a new version. I don't know when that will be. But yeah, this is all about like uh, this person wanting to take the next step. They want to make the next move. And it will happen. That's what I'm seeing this Knight of Cups actually is. Maybe I should have picked a card on that card, which already was a clarification card. Pick more clarification cards on the clarification card. But with this Knight of Cups, I'm seeing that they do want this to ascend to a higher level of commitment. Okay, they do want this to go forward. I'm even seeing like this is definitely more promising than like Pile 2. I kind of don't remember what we talked about in Pile 1. But yeah, there is going to be change. There is definitely movement happening. For whatever reason, Pile 3 has always been kind of like the pile where shit happens in my, my language pile where like you know people or like the person on your mind is actually going to do something make moves in the 3d so yeah but this is just so beautiful i love this card too your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment i am seeing that something will happen okay even if it's maybe okay we got since we got the knight of cups even if it's not like them physically offering you something it could be like an emotional offering maybe them just being more vocal them just being more open and when i said physically i mean like taking things to the next level as in engaging being engaged or proposing to you or you know going from no con or i guess going from situationship to something official like something's gonna happen whatever i said at least one of those things will happen probably even both because it's like let's say this person does want to propose to you i don't know why i did get like i literally just like imagine wedding bells um obviously they're gonna have to tell you how much they like you how much they care about you but they do see this relationship going forward they really do want this to progress yeah um okay so we also got chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here 100 percent got that with the knight of wands okay so much passion so much just like attraction physical attraction it's like you just get along well you never had to force anything you never had to like force the connection it just it just happened that spark was just there from the beginning and it's going to be there again that whole thing about your personality is a spark just your demeanor your being is a spark so <laughs> your being is a spark that sounds so weird but yeah definitely strong magnetic attraction you're so passionate you're so you have such great qualities to you you are you're kind of a little bit of everything you're really well rounded and that's something that they really love about you so yeah um okay we also got release your ex that's very interesting so a couple of different messages it may not even be what you think okay the one thing that i do want to say with this card is that this releasing your ex like let's say this is your ex let's say this is someone that you're in separation with you have to release the version of them that doesn't serve you you have to release the version of them that isn't you know the version that you want or like the, i mean no one's perfect but like you know relationships um th there is a pretty big distinguishment that doesn't even make sense between like someone who's a good boyfriend or girlfriend and someone who's not really that good with boyfriend or girlfriend right so it's just like you have to manifest the perfect version of them or not perfect but like the ideal version of them and let go of the version of them that doesn't serve you so this is more of like a message from spirit to you regarding this connection if you want this to progress if you want this to move forward like you have to, if you want you don't have to forgive them this is just something you know obviously i can't force you to do anything no one can not even spirit it's all within you but it's like if you do want there to be a progression i'm seeing that someone has to forgive someone or at least be open to the idea of doing it again you don't have to but forgiveness does heal a lot you know just holding on to anger just my personal opinion benefits literally no one okay it's like that whole um quote about like holding on to anger is like stabbing yourself and expecting the other person to die like you know but I mean, it is valid, okay? It is valid to feel all those emotions. It is valid to feel angry. But I, I am seeing something to do with forgiveness and releasing anything that doesn't serve this connection. So if that is something that you feel like you want to do or can do, then this is your sign to do it. So yeah. Um, okay. And then we also got getting to know each other. Yeah. So this person really wants to get to know you on a deeper level. I'm even seeing for a lot of you, this could be something that is fairly new or maybe it's not that long. Or it's kind of short lived and this person like wishes it was more permanent or longer um or like they're they had more time with you like even if like let's say this did last like 20 years or something they feel like that's not enough time with you okay and i'm seeing that they can never get bored getting to know you because they think you're so fun they think you're so passionate you're also very in interesting you're very intriguing with that queen of pentacles you have a lot going up there in your brain in the old noggin so um yeah they really like that about you they think that they can learn a lot from you. You're very knowledgeable. You're very intelligent. You're really wise. I even channeled the Hierophant. I know we didn't draw that, but since we got the Queen of Pentacles and getting to know each other, I am seeing that, like, you know, they think you're really smart and they think they definitely see you as someone that they can commit to 
for the long term. Okay, they really want this connection to escalate. They really want this connection to progress. So, um, yeah. Okay, that is what we got for you, Pile 3. I really hope this reading helped. I hope that it resonated. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. If this pile didn't resonate, of course, go ahead and pick another pile. I also do want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings, so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered, be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one. And yeah, I will end the reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light.